I really hope that a lot of you feel more validated after watching this video because I know how tiring it can be from hearing from the goth police that you're not goth enough. I am the CEO of goth. I say what goth goes. You're not goth enough, poser. And this shit is coming from people who aren't even elder goths, which is so funny because elder goths are the most accepting. Fun fact, a close friend of mine has an elder goth mum and she really encouraged me to really just say everyone's opinions and be yourself. A lot of people have this idea that goth is a aesthetic. It's a, it's a fashion based thing. No. While yes, it's a part of goth, it isn't the main focal point of being goth. Think of it as kind of like an add on to what goth is. Goth is a music based subculture. Okay. So what if you don't like the music and you just want to have the style, the aesthetic? Well, then this video isn't for you because this is for the baby bats. So if you just like the style and you don't like the music, do whatever you like. It's just not really right to call yourself goth because that's not what you are. Do you have to buy from high-end goth brands such as Killstar, Punk Rave, Blackcraft, etc.? No, no, you don't. It's not about buying the most expensive clothes to look goth or buy the nicest goth clothing to feel more goth. If you have the money to put forward to go ahead and buy it, by all means, I get a lot of that kind of stuff from Depop. In terms of fashion, there is no standard. There is a standard that some elitists like to have in the scene where you have to look a certain way because if you don't look a certain way, then you're not goth. But then that kind of puts you into this rigid little box where you can't wear anything other than black or lace or anything like that. When it's like goth is what you perceive it to be in terms of the fashion. So you see how I'm wearing wearing color and stuff right now. So I'm still a goth because I am wearing purple lipstick right now and crazy freaking eyeshadow. Wearing a pink dress does not mean that you're any less goth based on a color and piece of fabric that you're wearing. Some of the best things you can do is DIY. Do you know how many clothes that I have had that I just, you know, cut up, sewn up, put safety pins in, added spikes, done all. I, I can even show you here right now. DIY is a huge part of being goth because from what I learned from elder goths is back in the day, fashion wasn't as accessible as it is now. So you had to be creative and create your own cool shit to stand out from the rest. And I feel like, you know, we're coming to a point where everything is starting to really look the same. I heavily encourage, even as someone who doesn't own too many colorful clothes to begin with, because I just like the way black looks on me and how it accentuates my body because, you know, body dysmorphia. <laughs> so wear whatever the heck you want, because at the end of the day, you're a goth because you listen to goth music. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here comes a part where, and I'm doing a really condensed version of this video because you guys know how much I hate hearing the sound of my own voice, but at the same time, I kind of like love it. <laughs> you will be having people accuse you of being a poser because you have just all of a sudden come into the scene and you're all of a sudden goth and you're just like 13 years old trying to find who you are. Um, you're not a poser, bubs. There are going to be people out there who feel better than you because they have been in the goth scene for much longer. Longer. And that's fine. No one is invalid because they've been into goth for a few months or they've been into goth their entire lives. Like as long as you're actively educating yourselves and like watching documentaries and reading books and listening to music and just really immersing yourself into this subculture, that means you're a goth because you're so passionate about what you love. That is what goth is. I think the main reason and why there are some people out there who accuse baby bats of being posers, which is kind of cringe in a way because baby bats are usually like 13, 14, 15, 16. I mean, baby bats can be also much older, but it's usually common to be, you know, young being a baby bat. People usually think that just because you've come into goth means you're doing it for the aesthetic, which there have been a lot of crappy people to have done that. You know, it's just been outside factors, right? These kind of people have taken a 
advantage of goth women. They have taken advantage of the fact that they can, you know, pull metalhead guys and all of this kind of stuff, basically just using goth to be cool in a sense because goth is really freaking cool. Yeah, there are quite a few valid reasons as to why goth people feel like when someone newly comes into the scene that they could possibly be posers. But then again, it's not really up to anyone to judge or decide like we're still all goth. Just because someone else isn't goth anymore doesn't change the fact that we're any less goth. And I feel like that could come from a little bit of an insecurity about how goth you are when in actuality, it doesn't matter how goth you are. Just listen to the music and actually be about it. There isn't anything wrong being a 13 year old and discovering that you absolutely love Sisters of Mercy and that you've just found out my goth playlist. <laughs> I'll link it down in the description box below. So I just wanted to run over a quick few things um, for baby bats because it's just not fair how baby bats are being treated, especially when a lot of these are like young teenagers and kids. Like it's just a bit embarrassing to be bullying them. But anyways, that is my little waffle for today. And with that being said, I will see you all soon. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.